Hello everyone and welcome to my Days of Our Lives 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Dimitri comes clean with Leo about Nicole's child. In the bar, Tate asked Roman for a night off. Roman speculated that Tate needed the downtime to take Holly out on the town. Johnny, let me know that both of you are seeing one another, Roman said. Tate laughed anxiously. Tate made sense of that Brady didn't believe he should date, since he maintained that Tate should zero in on school. Tate remarked, I should have warned Johnny to keep Tate's dating life a secret. With a shrug, my lips are fixed. Roman guaranteed, as Holly strolled by the showcase before the pastry kitchen, she commended the prepared merchandise. Chanel urged Holly to take something. Holly stated, I'll take two for the road. Holly made note of the extra scone that Chanel added. It was not an accident. I'm apologizing for thinking you had a crush on Johnny. I was off base, Chanel said. Holly laughed, and she agreed that if she had a crush on her stepbrother, it would be embarrassing. In spite of the fact that you said you were hot for your stepdad at one at once, Holly recoiled. Now, everything is totally different, Holly stated. Chanel let Holly know that she was happy things had worked out with Tate. He's truly perfect, Holly said. Also, I'm super stirred up that he will be on staff here at Sweet Pieces, so that implies we'll be seeing a greater amount of you as well, right? Chanel inquired. Holly said, okay. Chanel recommended that Holly bring one of Nicole's one donuts back home. Be much obliged, yet that was somewhat of a desires thing. I would have zero desire to help her to remember her pregnancy. Holly stated not that she isn't already thinking about it every minute. My sister lost a child a couple of years back. Furthermore, despite the fact that she proceeded to have more kids, she says that you never truly move past the passing of a kid, Chanel said. Holly gestured in understanding. At the point when Holly showed up at the bar, Tate proposed to get her a beverage. What I needed is for you to let me be, Holly said. Befuddled, Tate inquired as to whether she was distraught at him. Might it at some point be that you slipped your arm around me without my assent, and afterward you seized the chance to give the whole world the impression we were dating? No, how could I be frantic about that? Holly stated Holly blamed Tate for enjoying taking benefit of the circumstance. Fine, definitely, perhaps I took advantage a tad, Tate said. Tate proposed to let everybody know that his dad had requested Tate to part ways with Holly. You can't do it, Holly growled. Confounded, Tate asked Holly what she needed. Holly made sense of that their phony relationship had facilitated Chanel's doubts. She won't ever see it coming when I dip in and take Johnny right from under her, Holly said. Holly was told by Tate that it was pointless because Johnny loved Chanel. According to Holly, Johnny just needs a little help to see me as a romantic interest. Tate chuckled in dismay. Johnny had asked Holly to help him plan an anniversary dinner for Chanel, so Holly told Tate about it. For what reason did he ask you? Tate stated, he needs a lady's touch, and I don't have the foggiest idea. I surmise he confides in me, Holly said. Tate reminded Holly that Johnny would be going on the date with Chanel, not Holly. Holly let Tate know that he owed her, so he hesitantly consented to help. At the point when Holly requested that Tate get Chanel, far from her commemoration supper, Tate moaned. Tate noticed that Holly was requesting a ton from him, and he requested something consequently. What would you like? Holly inquired. To meet you for a date. A genuine one? Tate stated. Leo paid Dimitri a visit in the visitation room of the jail. I made a rundown of endurance tips. It depends on my past involvement with this most unfathomable hellhole, Leo said. Dimitri guaranteed Leo that he would be all right. As Dimitri came to over to take Leo's rundown, Leo halted him. We want to discuss that bomb you dropped at my feet yesterday, Leo said. Dimitri apologized for having not had the option to make sense of about Nicole's child before he had been hauled out of the room. Then, at that point, where on earth is the baby? Leo inquired. Dimitri stated that he had visited the hospital, but that it had been crawling with cots. I overreacted, thus I went to Sloane's home, all things being equal. Dimitri said, Leo was informed by Dimitri that Sloan and Melinda had agreed to bring the child to the hospital. I figure Sloan saved the child for herself, Dimitri said. That lying unlawful falcon, Leo protested. Dimitri made sense of that Sloan was making Nicole's child look like her embraced child. 
Dimitri educated Leo regarding Sloane's bombed reception endeavor. That is precisely when I fortunately appear close to home with a little child kid in my arms. Sloane probably thought it was fate, on the grounds that when I left, she and her lawyer created an insane arrangement of some sort or another. Dimitri made sense of Leo scoured his brow. For what reason didn't you educate me regarding this previously? Leo inquired. Leo reminded Dimitri that they had nearly been accused of crime murder, perhaps in light of the fact that I didn't want to annoy our legal counselor was the most astute system right now, Dimitri said. Dimitri explained that he had decided to concentrate on assisting Leo because there were already a lot of other charges against him. Dimitri noticed that Sloane had helped Leo and made an arrangement for Dimitri in return for his quiet. Also, presently, this little piece of data is definitely more helpful to you than it is to me, Dimitri said. Dimitri encouraged Leo to utilize the data against Sloane when all was good and well. She will do anything to conceal this information, Dimitri stated, and I mean anything. This is a lot, Leo said in a whisper. Leo shook his head and he conceded that he couldn't say whether he could stay quiet. How about Nicole and AJ? They are grieving a child who is alive, Leo said. Oh, no. Dimitri grinned and said, Leo Stark is suddenly developing a conscience. Leo said he was astounded as well. Dimitri encouraged Leo to keep quiet. For your sake, I've given up my freedom. Even this way, if it's not too much trouble, capitalize on it, Dimitri said. I'll attempt, Leo said. Dimitri advised Leo to have a superb life. Leo was shocked. I simply don't have the foggiest idea while I will see you in the future, Dimitri said with tears in his eyes. I will return here and see you in the future, Leo guaranteed. Dimitri kissed Leo. Leo gave Dimitri his rundown and he left. Have a great life, Leo unmistakable, Dimitri murmured. AJ was gazing at his tablet PC in the Demera front room when Johnny strolled in. EJ conceded that he had been contemplating what is happening. Please accept my apologies, Johnny said. I wish you didn't have to go through this. Johnny got some information about the DNA test. EJ made sense of that. The test had affirmed that it was not EJ. What's more, Nicole's child. Along these lines, Nicole must choose the option to acknowledge that our child is expired, AJ said. Johnny bemoaned that he was unable to help. AJ stated, the fact is, I never expected the test results to come back in any other way. Nicole took it pretty seriously, isn't it? Johnny stated EJ gestured yes. EJ added that Nicole seemed to have acknowledged the truth, however, he was uncertain about whether to trust her. EJ acknowledged that Nicole's behavior has been rather erratic recently. I'm sporadic, am I? An irritated Nicole said as she strolled into the room. Johnny gave Nicole his sympathies and he left. AJ said softly, I'm sorry too. Anyway, you believe I'm insane to address whether our child was truly dead? Nicole inquired. EJ shook his head no. Nicole asked EJ in the event that he figured she wouldn't acknowledge the consequences of the test since she was a wreck. I believe you are hurting. You've experienced so a lot, and I'm exceptionally stressed over you, AJ said. Nicole admitted, sighing, that she had gone insane the first time she lost a child. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.